Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolfie Access. Today we're going to be looking at the second half of the MCC Haunted Hoedown teams. And if you thought yesterday's teams had some surprises in them, you'd be shocked to find out that there's, there's more surprises this time around. Um, the surprises don't just uh, cover the people that are in this event, but also the people that are not in this event. Because there's some people, some regulars, that I thought were going to be in every MCC of all time. Uh, they're not here. So we're going to get into that First, before we get into the actual team announcements, two things. Number one, Blue Sky. If you're not uh, aware of what Blue Sky is, it's like a Twitter alternative. It seems like at least the Minecraft community for the most part is um, at least mostly moving over here. It's like Twitter, but more fun. Uh, no bots. <laughs> the people have more fun interaction. And so far, I've literally just been crap posting all over the, the 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 main feed and it's been a blast i've had a great time i love this app so far um let's keep it like this guys keep it fun also follow me i want 1 million followers thank you appreciate it anyways before we get into the actual teams one more little shout out uh i found this underrated underground album from this artist uh it, the name is thriller Go listen to Thriller, guys. That's my music recommendation for today. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard of this M M Michelle Jackson guy. I don't know. Uh, but uh, pretty pretty cool album, I'm not going to lie. Um, uh, he, he tried pretty hard. Uh, hopefully, he releases new music soon. I can't wait. Uh, it's been how many years? I don't know. A couple, couple of years. Anyways, uh, <laughs> time to get into the actual team announcements, guys. First off, science interviews. Oh, my God. Um, fun fact about this team is that I uh, accidentally... Predicted the entire thing, aside from Frost. For reference, we do team prediction streams over on Twitch. And um, we had a, we had a, a little thingy um, where uh, we had a team predicted. It was not this. This is not even close to what we actually had predicted. We had Ant Frost. We didn't have the other three. Uh, and then someone mentioned, I think, Rendog or, or Pirates. Someone mentioned Pirates. And I was like, ah, yes. Marty and the Little Witch should be in this one. Oh yeah, maybe from the Pirates announcement, Martin and Rendog would be a cool duo. Wait, maybe Fall Symmetry. And all that in the span of 30 seconds before this team actually got announced. I think I wish it into existence. I might have, I might be of a higher power than um, regular citizens of uh, the Earth. But we're going to study that at a later time. I think MCC team announcements is not the right time to um, question my uh, reality. Maybe I am a figment of everybody's imagination. Maybe I am surreal. Who knows? We're going to find out maybe next year. Anyways, uh, cool team, right? A Cyan team, Rendog back after uh, apparently the last time Rendog played was like MCC 20 or something like that around MCC 20. So that would have been like two years at least uh, ish. No, not, not at least like two. Uh, no. Yeah. It, it's been like two years. I don't know, man. Uh, Martin also back. Martin's only played one uh, event this year thus far. This being the second. And then False Anta back. As per usual. Very nice. You'll have to see it. Next up, we have the Aqua Team. Which had a crazy surprise on it. Freaking Haley Ghosty Fruits in the event, man. What do you mean? I don't understand. But uh, welcome surprise, of course. Uh, together with Shadoon, Captain Sparkles, and Ant Venom. If I told... If you told me... That the Haley Ghosty Fruit debut team was going to have Shadoon, Captain Sparkles, and Ant Venom on it. I wouldn't have believed you, because that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but hey, I'm I'm here for it. Uh, Haley has teamed with uh, Shadoon in Black Wars. And I know that they're friends, and that they spoke at TwitchCon more, because I know that they wanted to team again for Black Wars. So clearly something happened there that was uh, positive. Um, however, cool little combination here. Uh, Ant and Sparkles obviously makes sense. Ant and Sparkles have also both teamed with Shadoon before. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this team will perform. It is a pretty good team. It doesn't have a bad player on it. Um, Shadoon being, um, you know, destined to be the S tier of the team. Which, to be fair, Shadoon's been popping the hell off recently in uh, Minecraft events. So we're going to ignore last block wars. But for the rest, Shadoon has been doing phenomenal. So I believe that uh, this team can do pretty good. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Ghosty Fruits, which I assume there's a, maybe a decent portion of at least MCC viewers who don't know. I assume the mogul male viewers will mo uh, mostly be familiar with Haley Ghosty Fruit. Um, she's not bad at the game. I know some people stereotypically will see an unfamiliar woman in, an, in a Minecraft event and assume, oh, they're probably bad. No. Uh, Ghosty's not bad at the game. Uh, I think Haley will place like 
25th range maybe for debut 25 30 i assume she'll probably practice so maybe 20 um but that means that the weakest player on this team is probably gonna get high end the bottom half which is insane so we'll see how the team does i don't know anyways uh, that's the awkward team next up blue banshees uh, blue banshees you've got fine bag fine bag is back no way anyways uh together with cub fan who's a uh, shiny this time around uh critic zeus and schizole man uh feinberg obviously uh debuted this year fun to see him back for the third time he played in twitch rivals uh san diego as well same with skiz uh fine and, and skiz actually have the exact same playing pattern thus far this year debut and kickoff don't play it for a long time until uh, uh, playing again in, in San Diego. And then, bang, a third one, Haunted Hoedown. Uh, also, Zeus has only played once this year, being a uh, kickoff as well. And then Cub, I think, has played like two or three times this year, maybe-ish. I, I don't know the exact number, but glad to see Cub back into the mix. Cub and Fine, uh, as a duo, makes a lot of sense. I know it's uh, something that uh, was relatively frequently predicted. Uh, also, Skiz and Cub, obviously a hermit duo. Um, cool to see uh, this combination, this crossover, and I'm curious to see how it will perform. I think it could be pretty good because Feinberg difference may apply. I'm just saying, guys, we haven't seen how much Feinberg can do because his two teams he's had have been drastically different. This one feels like a balanced team, like a like normal team. Like for a, if Feinberg is a regular S tier, this feels like a normal team. So we're gonna see if Feinberg difference applies to MCC. If this team makes it to top two. Then the answer is probably yes. Even top three. We'll see. Anyways. Um, purple team. I scrolled way too far up. It doesn't matter. Um, this team is crazy. But it's a, a fun one. I love it. Um, <laughs> anyways. Oh, I just realized. Five of said guess it's that month again. Yeah. Five of is going to pull up with the absolute most freaky skin of all time. He's going to absolutely terrify me. Um, you are not getting my approval. Five up. All right. Anyways. Um, cool team. Five up. Michaela. Callum CPK. Uh, Harvey Tapple, Tapple Harvey, whatever you want to say. Um, fun team. This team is pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good team. I think Michaela is someone who typically gets a little bit underrated. I think Michaela Bottomfrag is pretty solid. And then they have three people who I think would all be the same skill level. If you can, if you told me any of the other three players would get like top ten or bottom half or whatever, I would believe it, because they're all inconsistent kings, but they're all good. <laughs> they're all good players, but inconsistent kings, so uh, we shall see how they perform. This will be great uh, vibes. This team will be, like, fantastic uh, chemistry, um, from what we can tell, at least. I think this will be high energy, but slightly chaotic, maybe. Um, fun... I am praying that Meltdown is in with the, this team specifically because I think this team would be really good and cool in Meltdown. But I don't want Meltdown in for the rest because it's just like the game that's been played so many times this year. But specifically for this team, I would love to see Meltdown. It'd, th it'd be really funny. That's my that's my thought process. Okay. And then uh, finally is the pink team, which reintroduces iJevin into MCC. For, for, for everyone who's not aware, iJevin played in MCC before. Um, that being MCC one and then never came back. So I, I don't know if iJevin was like one time Maybe left afterwards. I don't know, but it's fun to see iJevin back into the mix um, <laughs> For the first time in almost five years. That is crazy by the way almost five years since the last time iJevin has played uh, That is a record that I don't think anybody will beat unless someone from MCC one decides to randomly come back or early MCC sometime next year I don't know Anyways, uh, team being Hannah, Ajevan, Jojo, and Izuma, which is fun. Uh, it's fun to see Hannah team with uh, Hermits again. Hannah, I think, had... I mean, Hannah team with Pearl and with, like, Gem, but um, had Impulse and Skiz last time, which I thought was a little bit experimental. I think this, yet again, is a little bit experimental, and uh, it'll be cool. Uh, and Jojo top frag here as well, obviously, uh, kind of... I feel like is the glue to really put this team together and I think it'll be it'll be fun I think this will be a, a cool team and uh, I am looking forward to seeing how this will uh, team will do also how I Jevin performs because it's been almost five years since the last time I don't know how good this man actually is at MCC I don't even know how good he is at Minecraft so maybe he's gonna be absolutely correct or maybe not I don't know anyways um, that is all the teams that got announced uh, before we uh, close off Let's head over to the uh, world over here. Here's the teams uh, predicted. If you're confused as to why we predicted Azuma so many times, 
by the time that like Cyan got revealed or like Aqua, one of the two, uh, Azuma was already confirmed in. He like leaked it on stream. So we just kept spamming Azuma with the hope that we get one correct. Of course he was on pink. Who, who would have thunk? Who would have thunk that one? Uh, anyways, yeah, these are the team predictions. Some of the people that are missing that I think are very important to note and the specific reason why I think it's important to note. First off, let's go from bottom to top. Iskal. Iskal not in this roster. Um, he is somebody who previously was very much uh, very vocal about wanting to play MCC again, but then um, obviously got to play in kickoff, but we haven't seen him since, so I'm not sure what happened there. Um, SB is a crazy one, because SB has been someone who's been mentioned time and time again to return to MCC, please return to MCC. And he kept saying time and time again that he wants to play again. And then this time he was interacting with all the team posts and then he's not in the roster. I really hope he didn't get benched. I really hope he just didn't sign up or wasn't available. I really hope he did not get benched because that would be tragic. Um, so yeah, those are two of the ones. Next up, Becky. Becky to me feels like somebody who would be in any MCC she signs up for because obviously she's really close friends with Scott, um, et cetera. She's not like, the most insanely busted person to have in a roster. Becky's a very confident second or maybe third frag, depending on what the top frag on the team is. And uh, I think Becky would have been somebody I would have expected to see in. Uh, Curry, I'm not super surprised with. I thought Curry was going to be the next, uh, not newcomer, but the next person to be official for MCC. Uh, yet, uh, clearly, he's not yet been added. Maybe he's gotten benched because he has one arm. I don't know if Scott wants to take the risk. That would make sense if that's the reason, but I don't know. Um, Cleo was just somebody that was kind of filled in. Next up, the Glorious King. Good time with Scar. Where is he? I assume he wasn't available for this event, but where is he, man? Good time with Scar. I miss him. Uh, it wasn't that long since the last time he played, but Scar not being in is a little surprising. Um, I assume he'll be in for the anniversary events, though, because he is kind of a staple in MCC nowadays. Um, so... Unfortunate. Uh, Green, not super surprised. People just had their hopes up for Green to be in. Not, I don't remember why, but people just had their hopes up. Gem not being in, a little surprising. I assume she just wasn't available. Uh, I don't know for sure though. And then, uh, was there anything else? Anyone else uh, that I thought was uh, very specifically weird that they're missing? Toby, no Tubbo. Tubbo is not in this event. This is like the first event in MCC this year. Uh, besides maybe the first one. Was he in kickoff? I don't think he was in kickoff. Th there's no Tubbo. No, no Tubbo to be seen, which is interesting. Very, very peculiar. Anyways, uh, here's the randomizer predictions. These may, may, may be one of the wildest ones we've seen thus far uh, with um, <laughs> some interesting takes from the randomizer, like um, Purpled getting top two dodge bolt again. Scott's Major getting top two dodge bolt again. The re really, we want to do an Ender Cup rerun? I mean, I guess we could. Them putting Pizza Hut in third. That's messed up, man. Green Team fourth, which actually that makes sense. That could happen. That's like the lower end of what I think they could do, but it uh, could happen. Um, purple Team fifth. I mean, it could happen. Aqua Team sixth. I mean, it could happen, but like unlikely. Um, Feinberg Team seventh. I mean, uh, the Reddit would never believe that. Uh, and then for the rest, I mean, it's uh, whatever, you know. Uh, also, yellow team last is a crazy take, but hey, who knows. Anyways, thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the MCC teams. Let me know if you like them or not. Please only vo be vocal if you like them, because if you don't, you're not going to get a heart from Mogul Mail, okay? Anyways, uh, unless you say this, the teams suck because uh, Wolfie's not there, but even then, you probably wouldn't get a heart from Mogul Mail. Uh, <laughs> anyways, thank you all for watching. Uh, and I'll see you all tomorrow for Black Wars Origins Watch Party and uh, also Sunday for Buying Battle. Thank you all for watching. See you later. Goodbye.